I'm going to open up and take a look at a uh, kit from Games Workshop. It's for the Warhammer Warhammer 40k universe. It's a dual kit, so it'll work in either either of the Chaos Demon armies. First Games Workshop kit I bought in a little while. Got some uh, some books to catch up the collection for the codexes, so I bought some models when I did that. This is the Plague Drones, I don't know if I said that or not, kind of a cavalry style model with a Nurgle theme. It's like you get three big sprues, you get some uh, basis for fantasy here, I'm not sure exactly the size of those. but. Uh, and then you get some of the clear flying stands for the 40k with the little things to hold them up on either one of those. So we'll take a look at the sprues and see if they look to be three different sprues. If you can just look at the layout where the body is, you see the body's kind of just off center here. They're kind of diagonally away from each other here. And they're on either side of the center there. So each one's going to come with the body, the wings, and the uh, plague bear mount is kind of a uh, base. Take a look at the first sprue. We have the get it better there. You have the body, there. You have the wings. See that you have kind of the arms or little uh, legs. You have, I'm trying to see how many different variations on a head you have. Look at the instructions real quick. So you get a nice little pamphlet for the instructions. So you see you have it, you can the uh, hook it up for fantasy like it is there. I believe you gives you a couple of different conversions. So you have a champion to construct the champion, the standard bearer, and the musician. It gives you the instructions, which instructions to follow to do that. And then just to do standard drones for each one, it gives you instructions on how to do that also. You're going to have some head options. I believe it's called a proboscis from the fly. So you have, uh, looks like uh, you can have them with the long snout, or you can have them just with a little a little piece there. Let's see, looks like we have some variations on the uh, stinger too. You can have like the little tendril with the mouth or almost like a little venomous stinger. Gives you instructions on how to put together the plague bear on the body. Keeps going through. That's the main thing I wanted to see in the instructions real quick to see what variation you were going to get on the uh, the head and tail before I look too close at the spring. So you can kind of see there's one of the heads that's the short snouted one, but it comes in two halves. Have a little closer look at the detail of the wing. There's one of the little stinger pieces that you can put on it, I believe. Maybe, maybe not. I'm looking at the 
that may be another piece of it. It's not a stinger piece, it is a crown piece to the armor, it looks like. Let's see if I can get back to it. Almost like a horn going across the top of the uh, carapace. And have a look at the plague bear body. You can see they're labeled with a C there. That's one of the tail options. I'm not a big fan of that open mouth look. We have a couple of more pieces for the arms for the plague bear. There's his front piece. There's his head. Part of his head. That may just fit back into the body itself. Yeah, it just kind of goes on the nub there. So here's part of the head that you can do for the uh, bloat fly itself. So the proboscis can either fit in here or you can fit this little mouthpiece, little stunted mouthpiece better, or you can fit the long proboscis in there. I believe that's how it works. Look at the instruction again. Nope, it's an either or. This is either the head with the proboscis on it and you put the piece, or you choose this head piece and put the little mouthpiece on it. So you can see what some of the legs look like. They're kind of long, extended, bladed things. It's like you have a death's head grenade there. We have the musician's bell, so this is probably the musician. We have a plague sword there. We have a little uh, baton to kind of ring the bell, I'm guessing. Looks like we have an arm that, uh, a little cord on it to hold something. A hand piece there. A couple more of the legs are just shorter. There's the little piece that goes on the end of the snout. You can see it's just a little piece that fits on there. I'll go through these others a little quicker. Looks like we have the standard here. It's almost like little pieces of metal made to look like a wing. You have some more legs, some more body of the bloat fly. You can see where it looks like it's got the head sucked up in there where it looks gonna shoot them out to form the death head. And look at the wings. There's another one of the little snouts that can go on the tail. Have a plague bear arm. Another little bladed piece. There's the venom tipped stinger. The head. The proboscis head. And you have the plague bear's body. He has another sword back of his body and all the stuff kind of fits onto it. You can see this may be, yeah this is the standard bear and there's his head. Get a little shadow. He yeah, really got a lot of pox on it. You get a little death's head grenade on there. I believe that's part of the lore, if I remember reading that right. The uh, bloat fly kind of eats the head of the victim and then kind of leaves it in its gut. Then it extrudes out a kind of a grenade almost of the head. And then the last one's going to be the champion guy. So you can see again, we have the body. See, he's got the exposed gut there. 
you see the nose and mouth poking through. And there's a the little piece that can be the tail. There's another little I'm not sure where that piece goes. Now the plague bear's head here. A little death's head grenade. There's a plague sword. Plague bear's arm. There's your two different heads there. Plague bear's body, front and back. Looks like we have another option for a head on here. We have the wings and the arms. It's like another option for a sword or a uh, blade here. Kind of has a death's head charm air on it. So there's the other piece of the mouth for the short head. So that's the champion's sprue. You get a couple of different options for his weapon and head. But those are uh, a set of plague drones for uh, Warhammer 40k or Warhammer Fantasy from Games Workshop.